Hey, crafty friends, back. So today, um, I wanted to just do a quick tutorial on how to sew a button. I've had, um, I've heard a lot of people say, I don't even know how to sew on a button. So I thought, um, I actually happen to have a pair of pants that need a button replaced on them. So I was like, let me hop on real quick and go ahead and just walk through real quick. Um, the ease of sewing on a button you only need two things you well okay three you need a button a needle and thread um so i just want to talk about choosing your button so um this button has four buttonholes some of them have two buttonholes some buttons um don't have any hole in them they're solid and they have um a little protrusion on the back of it that you just would um do the thread through i use that kind of buttons when i'm making um purses so i chose a four hole button um kind of really because i needed two buttons for this particular pair of pants and some some of the buttons that I liked that would have fit um, only had four buttonholes. So one of the important things that you want to take into consideration when you're choosing your button for um, whatever it is that you're fixing is that you want to make sure that the button that you pick fits in the buttonhole of the garment that you're repairing. You don't want to choose a button that's too small because it won't hold your pants or your shirt or whatever won't hold them closed you don't want the button to be too large either because otherwise the button isn't gonna fit through the buttonhole um so this button fits through um the buttonhole perfectly um so this is the the button that i'm choosing um to use and i have two of them because I um, these pants actually have two buttonholes on them and somehow I managed to lose them both off of uh, these capris so all you're gonna do is just um, set the button where you know fit you're gonna figure out kind of where the placement's gonna be um, so these have zipper and then buttons so if I hold it up like this you know that gives me a pretty good idea of where i'm going to want the button placement to be as i get started so i'm actually going to kind of just move it in i'm just using my fingers to kind of feel um you know where a good spot feels so that i've got it where i want it i think the hardest part of doing something like this is getting the um the thread through the eye of the needle so I've got my needle threaded. I'm just going to push the needle up the back side. I'm going to pull it through. I have a long piece of thread because I have two to do. So um, I tend to, so I use this buttonhole. I'm going to go opposite, push it back through. Give it a little bit of a tug. You don't want to yank it, but give it a little bit of a tug. I'm going to go back through that spot again. Push it back up. Back through the opposite side. Give it a pull. All right, so now it's getting there. So now what I want to do is I just want to, I'm going to put it up through the, one of the other buttonholes because this one had four. So I went this way. I went like up and down. Now I want to go side to side. So I put it in this side. So I'm going to just go the opposite side. Give it a pull. And I'm going to do that again.
and it probably seems a little bit strange that I chose black thread on red pants. However, I picked black thread because the buttons are on a little bit on the darker side and I didn't really want it to show. If I had used red thread, um, you would really see the thread in the button. So I chose black so that it blends in with the button. So I've got, now I've got two go-throughs on each buttonhole. So you can do three or four. I wouldn't do any less than two. Um, but so technically I have four because I did two and then I did, you know, I did two like up and down and then I did two uh, left to right. So kind of, you know, you can give it a, a little bit of a tug and see. Um, this kind of feels like it has a little bit of play in it. So I'm actually going to just go ahead and do one more. Up. Down. And then I'm going to just do the other side as well. I was trying to push it up into the button. Okay. So what I did was I went in and out each of those four holes. So I went up and down and left and right again. So each one's got three. And that feels, that feels a lot better. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that. So now I'm going to take and take my second button and I'm just gonna pop it on there and I'm gonna do the exact same thing again and you you know I'm going in from the back side of the pant so up and do up down And since I decided on the upper button that I was going to go three times, I'm just automatically on this one going to go a third time up and down and then I'll switch over and do the left and right. Isn't this easy? You know, and you can pick up they've got, you know, the sewing repair kit that you can get. Or you can simply just go right to Walmart and pick up package and needles they usually come in the multiple sizes so depending on um you know the, the needle that you choose is kind of going to be dependent on the the material that you're using if you're using denim you want a little bit of a thicker needle then if you're using something thinner or you know like cotton this is cotton so i'm just using um kind of a middle of the line All right, so I got three on each side. So now all I'm going to do is I'm kind of going to just tie this off. So I'm just going to go, I'm going to put my needle and I'm going to just feed it through some of my other threads. And I'm just going to pull until I've pulled to the end. Now, 
somehow I managed to have a big gap in there. I probably, I don't think I pulled one of them far enough. Um, so I usually, to finish that off, I usually do that like two or three times. So I'm just going to just kind of give it a little bit of a feed through. And, you know, just give it, you know, a nice little pull. Um, so we'll do it one more time. And there we go. That's that. And now we've got our two buttons on our pants. Voila, there we go. Wasn't that easy? You can do this. I promise you can do it. All right. Let me know if you have any questions. Please like this video um, and welcome to Angela Shows You. I uh, hope to see you again in a future video. Thank you. Bye-bye.